This is a bone model uh, that helps to explain some of the points I'm trying to um, uh, show here. Um, uh, again, if we look at this as a bone model of the foot and the ankle, we're talking here uh, at um, uh, and pointing at what really amounts to the attachment point of the Achilles tendon. Uh, the Achilles tendon, again, is, is, is a dense tendon that runs down the back part of the calf and attaches into the bone of the uh, heel. Uh, that, the function of the Achilles tendon, again, is to provide up and down motion primarily pushing down as you would on, let's say, a gas pedal or lifting yourself up uh, a set of stairs. And so there's an, uh, really an enormous amount of stress in, in, uh, that's placed across the Achilles tendon. And the attachment point really is a focal point of that stress. So patients will come in with pain, discomfort, swelling right around this heel bone. Um, they may have a, an area of pressure or soreness that rubs in the back of the shoe. This would be an example of what I would call an insertional Achilles tendonitis or pain at the attachment point of the Achilles. Additionally, heel pain can present on the bottom. Um, this, and I'm going to turn the model this way so you can see um, what this dense band of tissue on the bottom part of the foot, which is called the plantar fascia. These are the two issues that really are most common when we talk about heel pain. The other um, location of pain, heel pain, can be a little farther up. The patient may say, well, it doesn't hurt in the heel. It really hurts farther up along the Achilles. And as, you, as I palpate or feel that Achilles on my exam, I'll be able to feel that difference. I'll find actually swelling of the tendon, not at the attachment point, but farther upstream. That is what we call mid-substance Achilles tendonitis, or pain, or, or pain right in the mid-portion of that Achilles. Again, the symptoms are somewhat similar. Pain with activity, walking up and down stairs, uh, playing golf, tennis. You'll have soreness and pain that you'll notice primarily during the activity and, and actually afterwards, when you tr when, after you rest it, let's say you're driving in a car and then you get out of the car and you say, wow, you know, that, that tendon really is sore. The good news with Achilles tendonitis, whether it's at the attachment point or a little farther upstream, or whether we're dealing with the other component of heel pain, which is plantar fasciitis, these are problems that I can treat non-surgically. I, 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 there are a number of effective ways of dealing with heel pain that don't require any surgical treatment, that really are um, best treated and most effectively treated non-surgically. And the mainstay of non-surgical treatment for tendonitis is the things you would normally think of. Ice, anti-inflammatory medication like Motrin or Advil, sometimes a prescription anti-inflammatory. Um, things like orthotics and braces play less of a role. Uh, in fact, uh, I find a lot of patients come in having had orthotics provided, custom orthotics. Maybe they had some relief with them, but they're an expensive item that may not be necessary as a first line of treatment. In fact, my experience with this in the studies that have shown the most effective way of treating plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, is physical therapy, an organized, aggressive um, approach to, f to managing tendonitis conservatively with physical therapy, particularly deep tissue massage. There are methods in which uh, the, a trained physical therapist, um, typically over a four-week block of time, which is a typical span for physical therapy, will work on the sore spots of the Achilles, working on stretching, on tissue mobilization, meaning rubbing and, 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 and working out the knots that can occur along these different spots is really very effective. We do have surgical options that are available for all of these issues, but really that's something I only consider after uh, an extended and um, concerted and complete course of conservative treatment.